Uh, you really have redecorated, haven't you? Sure did. I wouldn't go looking for your old stuff. We tossed it out ages ago. Wait, did you throw away everything? Tell me you didn't throw away everything! Come on, come on, please tell me you didn't, please tell me you didn't. Yes, thank god, thank god, thank god, thank god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sans, what's happening? You got me. <sighs> oh, god, I didn't know anything could taste this good. It was all worth it for this moment. Whoa. So that's what that smell was. Just give me a minute, please. Just a minute. Uh. All right. What were we talking about? Wait, is that a new one? Did you finish eating the other one? You don't eat cigarettes. It looked good, though. Can I try one? Absolutely not. You're never to even think of touching one whatsoever. You're not the boss of us anymore, remember? Ugh, I'm sorry. I just don't want you getting addicted to them as well. It's not a good habit. Then, why are you eating them? You don't eat them. Besides, they're also very difficult to get. And I don't know what they do to your bodies. You're not like other monsters. That's right, with things. <clears throat> You're not things. You never were. But you are different, and that comes with costs and benefits. Oh, like flying, right? <coughs> what? Oh, boy. Well, I guess walking on air would be more accurate. You can fly? Can you demonstrate? Oh, yeah, look. See? Isn't that cool? It's cool, right? Do you think it's cool? It's really cool, right? How on earth? How is this possible? Where's the notepad? I have to take notes on this. Taking notes on how weird we are. Now well, that's nostalgic. Wanna take us back to the lab to complete the picture? This, this isn't about that. This is an unprecedented phenomenon. Hovering is virtually unknown among skeletons and it should be... It should be... Recorded. Ugh. I don't mean to make you feel as you did before, it's just hard not to be fascinated by this. This didn't happen when either of you were in the lab. Flight and teleportation. How extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Mm. Are there any other strange things you two have noticed? Oh, Sans, tell them about your attacks. Do you do more damage now? Uh, kinda. They don't work on papyrus now at all. Yeah, see? Isn't that neat? It's neat, right? It's really neat. Amazing. Is it only ineffective against Papyrus, or does it have a different effect on others? May I touch it? Uh, uh, nah. Why not, Sans? Don't feel like it. Well, it's your choice. I won't press you if you do not want to. So why can we do these very cool things? Do you know? Hmm. There are a few things I can extrapolate, although I wouldn't say they're conclusive. Neither of you could do these things before I disappeared, and both of you are physically and magically connected to me. The fragments of your souls that used to be mine must have been erased along with me, resulting in something like partially corrupted or missing data, which manifests in these odd ways. But why flying? And teleporting? Glitches can cause unexpected or illogical behavior. Without further study, you're not touching us again. I was going to say that that was something I will not do to either of you. As I was saying, there's no way for us to be sure. I think my hypothesis is as strong as any other we may have at this point. We. Oh, Sans, what about the numbers? You still see those, right? Numbers? Uh, remember when you said we'd talk about the kid later? Well, let's talk about the kid. You saw something when you looked at the kid, didn't you? I did. And from your tone, you have as well, haven't you? For the record, I didn't see anything. What did you see? What do you know of the nature of this world? We saw your little timeline thing. Did you? Hmm. We also got a lot of weird dream memories at once one day. Sans thinks it's like a game and we're the checkers. 
And those were the other games they played. Hmm. Yes, that would follow. Was it when that human appeared? No, it was earlier. It's locked. But it happened again when the human showed up. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What kind of numbers do you see, Sans? You listen to the door. You hear talking, but you can't make anything out. Just numbers going through people. Like they're part of them, kind of. But no words? Nah, just numbers. This follows with the other glitchy behavior. An echo from the void, so to speak. I saw words as well as numbers. It's locked. 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 What did they say? They were just single words, but one can guess at their meaning in the greater context. Reset. Game over. Fun. One. Are you saying my human friend is the one controlling all of this? No, that's not all I saw. There was something else. A shadowy black thing. That's right. You've seen it too. A what? I didn't see that. Why didn't you tell me, Sans? It was only there for a second. I thought maybe I was imagining things. We're not meant to see its true form, or perhaps we simply can't. Either way, it is that being that I suspect is responsible for all this. It's controlling that human child through some unknown means to enact its will here, where it cannot directly touch us. Hmm. Remember when you said that we're checker pieces and someone's moving us around the board that we can't see? Yeah. So, you're saying the human is also a piece on the board getting moved around? If that's easier for you to understand, yes. And that means there's two players, right? One on each side? That's how games work. What if there's only one player, though? Do you mean, what if they're controlling that human and us as well? That's not how games work. You can't play a game against yourself. You'll already know every move that you make. They don't really seem to be fighting against us so far. They've just made friends and tried to help us. This time they have, at least. I doubt all their run-throughs were as kind. They've been toying with this world for some time. They want something from us that we haven't given them yet. Uh, all they said they wanted to do was leave, though. <gasps> Asgore! The barrier! We have to stop them! What? Asgore, if that human wants to leave, they have to kill Asgore or be killed by him, and either scenario is... is not acceptable. I have to stop them! How are we supposed to do that? If that kid's the player, then there's no way to stop them. They can just reset the game if we do anything. I don't care! I have to try! I... have to try. Mm. You're right. You're right! We have to try, Sans. We can't let anyone get hurt. Come on! Okay, okay. I think I got through to them earlier in the castle. Maybe we can still work something out. Huh? Uh, what's that light? 